Hello students, in this video we will see a problem in projection of straight lines. This is a type 4 problem. Let me read this question. A line PQ 60 mm long, it is directly mentioned so it is a true length of a line. As its end P 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Okay. Its plan and elevation measures 50 mm and 40 mm respectively. Draw its projections and determine its true inclination with HP and VP. Yes. Let me write the given data now. Yes, as you see, there are 5 given data in the problem. So, you must know what is called plan and what is called elevation first. See, the plan is nothing but top view length. Okay, this is top view. Elevation is nothing but it is in front view. There are five okay. data are given. What are all the data are given? Yes. True length, top view length, front view length, and one end point are given. Okay, this kind of problem is called as an type 4 problem. We will proceed to solve this problem now. The first step is to draw the reference line for an arbitrary distance like this and name the reference line as x and y okay and name this plane as vertical plane and this plane as horizontal plane yes the next step is to locate the locus point of p here p dash and p here i am placed my scale like this that is in such a way that the scale should be perpendicular to your xy line and taking 15 millimeter above HP and 20 millimeter in front of VP. I am going to draw the locus lines for the measured distance here like this. And similarly, I am placing my scale parallel to this XY line and drawing the another locus at this measured distance like this. Yes, and name this locus as locus of p dash and locus of p okay and placing my scale perpendicular to x y line and i'm drawing an arbitrary line somewhere else on this line and locating the point of p dash and p the front view length measures 40 millimeters and top view length measures 50 millimeters. So from the templates we came to know that the distance at this location okay where I placed my scale okay you can able to measure the distance there that is the distance of front view length and similarly the bottom side will have a top view length. So let me measure it and show it to you. Now yes. I have marked the distance of front view length and top view length from the respective points and locate and name this point as B2 dash and this point as B1. Okay, you can refer the Down. terminologies video for locating these points here. Okay, write them. The next step is we will extend this particular lines on the particular directions. So the line have to be extended from the true length of the line. So you have to extend it this B1 dash towards upward direction and this B2 dash towards downward direction. It's like this I have extended this line of B1 point towards upward direction and B2 point towards downward direction like this. The next given data is what we have. We have almost solved the data as this one is solved and this one is also solved. So the remaining data is only the true length. We need to proceed with only the true length. Taking a distance of 60 millimeter in my compass like this. And I need to draw an arc from the perspective point of P dash and P to locate the true length distance here. Yes, this is my first arc. Similarly, I will draw an arc on the downside also replacing my compass on the point of P and now I am drawing an arc like this so I will got two points as here the respective point on the front view is nothing but Q1 dash 
and the top view is nothing but q2 okay now we can able to connect the lines connect the points of p dash and q1 dash and this is an true length in the respective front view similarly connect this p and q2 yes this is an true length in the respective top view now we can able to locate the locus lines here on this q1 dash and q2 yes let me draw this locus here yes similarly i can able to draw my locus line on this q2 also like this and name this as locus of q dash and this as locus of q yes the remaining procedure is very simple by using compass itself we can able to complete the remaining problem is taking p dash to b2 dash as a radius and draw an arc with cent taking p dash to b2 dash as a radius and draw an arc considering p dash as a as a center point like this this curl will intersect on this yes, locus. locate this point and name this point as q dash similarly place your compass like this and measure the distance of p to b1 as a radius and draw an arc towards the locus of q and this curve will intersect at this point this intersection point is nothing but q yes connecting this p dash and q2 dash in dark line will give us the final front view and and p and q will give us the final top view finally we need to mention the dimensions like this and we need to calculate the all the angles here like alpha beta theta phi and the length of the final top view and final front view thank you